Hello all, welcome to the second episode from Basic Immunohematology series. Today we will be discussing about the grading and scoring of the agglutination reactions. So this is a widely uh, followed practice in various tests like detection of grouping, weaker subgroups, in antibody screening, antibody identification and the scoring also helps us in antibody titration to give us an estimate of the strength. So uh, I have Dr. Soumya, who is a second year resident at our place at Indraprasth Apollo Hospital. She will be showing you the grading and scoring of the reactions. Very good morning everyone. I am Dr. Soumya. I will be discussing about the grading of agglutination on tube, column agglutination and SPSA technique. I will be discussing with a video and a picture of the agglutination reaction. This is the table given in ABB technical manual for the interpretation of agglutination reactions. We will be grading all the agglutination reaction with the help of this table. Moving on, as we can see in this image, there is only one solid agglutinate which is present. Hence, the designation given is 4 plus and score is 12. This image shows there is only one solid agglutinate which is formed. Hence, it is graded as 4 plus. Here, there are several large agglutinates which is present. Hence, it is designated as 3 plus and the score is 10. This image shows there are several large agglutinates which is present. Hence, it is graded as 3 plus. Moving on, this is the medium sized agglutinates with a clear background. Hence, it is designated as 2 plus and score given is 8. This picture shows there is a medium sized agglutinates with a clear background. Here, there are small agglutinates but there is a turbid background. Hence, the designation given is 1 plus and score is 5. This picture shows there is a small agglutinates but there is a turbid background. Here, there is barely visible agglutination with a turbid background. Hence, the designation is weak and the score is 2. This picture shows there is barely visible agglutination with a turbid background. Here, there is no agglutination at all. The cells are, are almost sliced, hence the designation is 0 and the grade is also 0. This is a hemolyzed sample. We can see the cells are, are almost sliced. It is represented by the letter H. This image we can see the cells are, are almost sliced. This is a sample of a patient who received ABO incompatible transplantation. Patient was B positive and donor was A positive. We can see in this video there is a mixture of agglutinated and unagglutinated cells. So this is known as mixed field agglutination and it is represented by small m and f. Coming to grading of agglutination on column agglutination technique, when there is a solid brand of agglutination at the top of the gel cord column, it is graded as 4 plus. When the agglutinated cells are present at the top of gel cord column, but there is little bit suspension below, it is graded as 3 plus. In 2 plus reaction, the agglutinated cells are dispersed throughout the gel cord column. In 1 plus, the agglutinated cells are at the lower half of the gel cord column. In weak, there will be barely visible agglutination which is present at the lower half of the gel cord column. In negative reaction, there is no agglutination at all. Hence, all the cells will be settled down at the bottom of the gel cord column. In hemolyzed sample, there will be presence of pinkish or reddish supernatant on the top of the gel cord column. When there is two cell populations that is on the top and the bottom, it is called mixed field agglutination. Coming to the causes of mixed field agglutination, it can be artificial or permanent. In artificial chimerism, can be causes due to transfusion of group O red cells to group A or B. In fetomaternal hemorrhage, in ABO incompatible bone marrow transplant patients, in intrauterine transfusion, in exchange transfusion. One of these cell populations will live for a short term period making this type of chimerism a transient phenomenon. In permanent chimerism occurs when two cell populations exist throughout the life. There are two most common causes in twins when exchange of blood occurs in utero due to vascular anastomosis. Both cell populations will grow and both are recognized as self. And in dyspermy where two sperms fertilizes one egg and result in two cell population.
Coming to grading of agglutination on SPSA technique, in SPSA, the interpretation of agglutination reaction is different for heme agglutination and capture technique. In heme agglutination, the interpretation of agglutination reaction is same as that of tube technique which we have learned before. Heme agglutination technique is commonly employed in tests like blood grouping and antigen typing. So, in this image, we can see the blood grouping on SPRCA which follows heme agglutination technique. When there is a single large clump formed, it is graded as 4 plus. When there is mono layer of RBCs throughout the well image, it is graded as negative. Whereas in capture technique, the wells are coated with antigens and when the antibodies containing plasma is put into the wells, it forms an agglutination reaction. So, to visualize it, when an indicator red cell is added into it, it, these indicator red cells binds to the agglutinated cells forming a second mono layer of RBCs and on well, it gives a homogeneous uniform layer of RBCs throughout the well which is graded as 4 plus. But when there is no antibodies at all, there will be no agglutination reaction. Hence, the indicator red cells are clumped into one place giving an image of button on the well. Hence, it is graded as negative reaction. So, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for your patience listening. Stay tuned to this channel for more videos. Thank you. Thank you Dr. Soumya for giving a brief description about the grading and scoring of the agglutination reactions. I hope that helps the viewers to note the different techniques and the grading methodologies. To note is in SPRCA, there are two assays, one is based on hemagglutination and the other is based on indirect antiglobulin tests. So, the scoring and grading differs between both the tests. So, the blood grouping is based upon the hemagglutination and all other tests like antibody screening, identification, antibody titration, they are all based on the indirect antiglobulin method. Another most commonly asked question for the students who are exam going is about the mixed field reactions. So, you should be aware about the causes and how to detect the mixed field reactions. If there are any other questions or any other queries or problems which you face while performing your tests, kindly drop in your comments below and we will get back. Thank you.